Okay. Okay, so foodie, step two. We've got our, we've got all of our egg in here, and we've got, and we're starting to mix everything up. We're gonna get our hand in here in a second, but I just wanna start with my spoon and get things mixed up. If you think you need more breading, okay, you can use some breadcrumbs, a little extra. But first, I, what I need to do is I gotta get this going in here. And it smells just divine, as Anthony will attest. Mmm. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. That stuffing does something to it. So what I'm going to do is just get this over here, just in case. All right. And I'm going to freeform this meatloaf today on our pan for the oven. Normally, you could use a regular loaf pan to do this, or a couple of loaves, or a bigger loaf. I'm just going to freeform it. We're gonna go right into the oven with that, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna get my hands dirty, everybody. So in we go, and we're gonna mix this up. Get everything all good, the eggy, the, the everything. Just get it all mixed up nice. Okay, look at this, how nice this is. And all of those sa sauteed vegetables I did in step one video, which Anthony will We'll make sure that you know there's a step one. And we have in here, what did I put in here? I did onion, I did some mushrooms, I did some celery, I didn't put carrot, but you can put carrot if you like. You know, whatever your family likes. I think this is just a little bit more. Anthony, can you just take that and just give me one little helping of, of that there? Yeah, a little more. That's good, thank you. All right, so then, I'm, I just want this a little less wet than it is. Okay. And we've got our sausage in here, everybody. Oh my God, this is gonna be good. So basically what we have is, cause this is pork sausage, Italian sausage mild. You can use Italian sausage hot. And what we do is just take it. It's holding together really super nice. And what we're gonna do with this is just take it and just roll it right down so it falls right on our pan. Oop, there's some more here that needs to come out. Just like that. Just like this, and we'll get our bowl out of the way. And then I'm just gonna form it like this. We'll just kind of make it into a meatloaf, right? Wow, nice. Look at this, how this goes, everybody. Just make it into a meatloaf. So we can shape it this way, we have hands, now, if you want it thinner, just push it down a little bit, like this. Push it down, and then what you get is a beautifully shaped meatloaf. There we go. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, because the last 15 minutes or so, we're gonna put some traditional ketchup on top here, okay? There we're going to have it right there. Our beautiful meatloaf. And let me rinse my hands and then there you have a beautiful meatloaf. It just smells divine. I can't wait to eat this later. I'm sure Anthony and I are gonna just have a feast on this. And what we have is an easily done meatloaf on your sheet pan if you choose to freeform it like this. Don't forget to spray a little oil so that it doesn't stick, but there you have it. So this is Peter Carpizos. Give it a try. We'll show you how this cooks up later, and we eat it. This is Pete out. <laughs>